Anyways, welcome back to Dems MTB. Today we're trying out a different camera here. Trying out the Insta360 X4. It's a windy day, so we'll see how the sound turns out. I do have a couple of little wind nuts on it, but just going for a quick ride. It's supposed to be starting to pour rain here and I'm kind of just trying to just get in and have a ride. Seems like recently as I've either been really busy in the evenings or just not feeling well. So I haven't got out as much to ride as I want. Supposedly the trails are, generally speaking, in pretty good shape. Some of the lower ones are still too wet to pass, but that's to be expected this time of year. gusty wind through here just have to watch for stuff listen for stuff falling some gentleman was telling me there uh, stuff was falling off the trees which probably was Entering Millie Vanilli. <sighs> Millie Vanilli. Haven't really started with a lot of. I always lose my power on these pumps. I can never seem to get these pumps a little bit of climb there Whew. Yeah, they took care of the Widowmakers last time we were here. It was nice, good. <sighs> Pedal strike. Whew. So, this gentleman that told me I shouldn't go riding because the wind and branches are falling. You know what? While he was riding, he definitely were cracked, right? For sure. It was gusty, 80, 90 kilometer winds. But obviously, he never looked ahead of the forecast because the forecast is right. Every hour is dropping 20, 30 kilometers. So, when I came out, it had already dropped down 30 kilometers. I mean, the first storm had already gone through. 
which gave me a perfect window to go ride in. And another half hour or so, the wind's supposed to drop some more. Yes, we're gonna get the odd gust like right now. Right? But, that being said, it's supposed to start pouring rain when the wind slows down. If it starts pouring rain, I'm calling it quits. Because I'm still not feeling well, so I don't need to. Don't know what's wrong with me. But I just don't need to possibly make things worse. If I'm getting cold and damp. spot here oh yeah feel the sink right in oh I love this little zippy to do that right here Of course, I didn't keep my speed like I normally would have. I like to come along right in here and pop off of this, but not enough speed. It is now pouring, so we are going to work our way out of here. Not the ride that I was expecting to do. At least I got some in.
climb here. Legs even cramped up. Just keep walking out. Gotta walk for a few minutes here. Oh my god. Not enough salt, not enough potassium. I don't know. Maybe it's just because my body's not feeling well and I'm not listening to it. Fuck. Ouch. Brakes got a little wet there from the rain. Well, the rain seems to have stopped, but also due to the fact that my leg is cramping up, I think we're still gonna head at home. My body is definitely telling me it does not want to do this today. I cannot handle doing it today. Supposed to continue raining another half hour, so it's supposed to be 
90% rain, which is 90% of the area is going to get wet. I didn't look at it to see what extent, but to me it doesn't really matter. These trails are a little damp. They're nice. They set them up beautifully, and some of them are, you know, just absolutely beautiful. But a little bit of rain can set them back. I think it's supposed to be miserable till the middle of next week. And then it's supposed to have a long stretch of clearing up. Which will be fine because Oh, this weekend I'm busy with cadet stuff, so we'll see. I might be able to sneak out some of the time. Yeah, we did it all the way up. Yeehaw. Whew. Many adventures last year taught me how to do that little climb. And as long as I listen to their lessons, I, I can climb up that. Move forward, keep your head up, chin up, look up it. And I seem to, as long as I do that, I seem to be able to climb it okay. I just wish I can get the endurance to do the rest of these hills. Wish that'll come. I just need to get out, get riding. So, one thing I did want to mention is that I have totally cleaned my train chain and I've dipped it in wax. I'm going to run wax this year. See how it makes a difference. Do a kilometer comparison to last year. And we'll see if it makes a wear difference running wax. You know, we'll uh, just have to try it out. Maybe in another video, I'll go over the wax I used. I believe it's the uh, Silka wax pellets, as well as the. Uh, they have a bar there that will remove some of the grease and that from your chain when you dip it. You put it in with the wax and uh, seem to work okay. Anyways, thank you for watching Dems MTB. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, folks. <laughs>